Hello everybody, welcome to the astrology chat for January 30th, 2024. So the keys for today are to allow yourself to practice your emerging skills of communication, discernment, investigation, connection, and negotiation throughout your day so that you can build the practice of building connections with others and also trusting yourself. And as you are moving through the day, allowing yourself to connect and express with other people, Allow yourself to also take steps back and review. Allow yourself not to jump to conclusions or jump into the middle of anything necessarily. Taking your time to get to know yourself and the people involved in whatever you are engaging in today. And I say this because we have the moon in Libra. The moon moved into Libra at 3.03 a.m. And today and over the next couple of days, the moon in Libra is going to call attention to our partnerships, uh, who you're working with, your connections, your agreements, uh, your public world of the people who you are working with in personal and professional sectors. This is also the house of secret enemies, and this is a good time to remind you that the South Node is also in the house of Libra right now, where the moon now is. And so while there are opportunities to connect with people on more authentic and more understanding ways, there's also going to be things or points of disconnection, particularly with yourself as you are changing how you're connecting with people, how you're taking in information, how you are building a life that is built on authenticity. And be mindful that sometimes there might be things that might seem like a deception or it can be a misunderstanding. Mm, take your time to figure out which one it is. But either way, over the next couple of days, don't be afraid to try. We have the moon in trying to Pluto. And so there is this energy of you being able to feel out and sense other people's intentions and their vibe and what they're doing. Remember, this is Pluto in Aquarius now. And so this is you being able to see yourself in your immediate and relationships and with the larger collective. Then we also have an in conjunction with both Jupiter and Saturn. And so this is an irritation that's intended to call your attention to something that you might be missing, a piece of information you need to reconsider, a philosophy that you need to reconsider, an adjustment to your long-term plans, allowing yourself to make adjustments to the structure or discipline in your life so that you can have your dreams come true, particularly where it is you trying to do these things in relation to other people. And that just means that, yes, maybe you can come to an agreement or an understanding or collaboration with other people, but it could also mean in one way or another where you need to step back and and allow yourself to process for yourself and take time to do what you need to do for yourself, maybe away from the group. And this is going to allow you to have more of a, an understanding about what you need to do for your process. We also have Mercury in a semi square with Saturn. And so words and functions are kind of trying to work it out, which is why you should take your time and clarify for things. We also have the sun in a semi-square with Neptune. And so this is an energy where at some point during today, probably later in the day, you're going to want to step back. You're going to want to have time to dream and consider about what you want and the structures in your life and how you're connecting. And remember, this is a Neptune that is ready to dream and to consider. Um, It's in its home house of Pisces, but there's also Saturn there as well. So there's these all these connecting points to allow yourself to consider and engage and then step back. Find out, question, get information, step back. You don't necessarily have to say anything, a hard yes to anything today, um, especially over the next couple of days. Just, you know, go into the phase of open negotiations and make sure you understand the details and the plans that are in play here. And so the more that you do this, the better your day is going to be. So it's a beautiful day. I'll have to take your time and to adjust. I love you guys so much and I'll see you tomorrow.